Always need your fondant. Get the elasticity going in it. So this is just kind of like a leaf green, a bright green. This is actually the satin ice right out of the bucket. And I'll take the same handy dandy cutter, cut. And I want to cut about the same spot that I did before, maybe come in a little bit more and down and then cut here like that. So now I don't need that section. I need this and let me just make sure that it's going to be big enough. It's going to go like that. This one will come over like this. And I do like them to overlap a little bit there. So what I'm going to do is take a little water. I'll put this one on first. See how sometimes I do it on the cookie, sometimes I do it on the fondant. You just never know what I'm going to do. Now on this one, I can stretch it just a little bit with my finger. Bring this down to the bottom. Now be careful on the edge here. I don't want to push too hard. It is a cookie and I can still break it. Here, I think I want to extend that a little more. So I'm just going to take my rolling pin and actually roll that out a little bit further. And then take some water on the back. And see how I can overlap it there. Cute. Just nicked it with my finger there. So just kind of push that back, smooth that out. Uh, straighten this up here at the bottom. Okay, and that's good, like that. All right, next thing, I take a veining tool. It's got a thicker end and a thinner end. I want to take the thinner end, and I'm just going to start like this and come down. Well, I guess from you, it's down from the bottom up to the top. And curve it when I get to the top there. And you can even do some random lines. They don't have to all come down straight from the bottom straight to the top. I kind of like to do my thicker ones first and then come back and do some thinner. Whoops. Keep hitting it with my fingers there. Down here. And I can even come from the edge and sometimes it's easier to come back this way then and do a few. So you want several, lots and lots of lines. I'll do this one here in the middle. I kind of brought it apart a little, just push it back together, not a big deal. Looks like this needs a little bit more water underneath because it wasn't sticking. And I'll go ahead and pull this down. And there we have that. All right, let me cover this up. Next thing I want to do is do some of the coloring before I put the face on so I don't mess up the face. So I have a whole tray here of dusting powders. I'm, I like to, for my fall cookies to have some green, some brown, some oranges, and even a few little rust colors and of course some gold. Gold is always good to have, right? Also have a pink, which is called watermelon. And that's going to be for any blush that I do. That's my favorite one for blush. So I think I'll start with um, a little bit of actually a yellow to put on some of this. A little bit different shade of yellow. Um, this one's called Orange Swirl, but it's actually a yellow. So I'll start with that. I usually start with the lighter colors, go to the dark. So I'll take some of this, pop some in the, the lid here so I don't put too much on at once. And I'll just brush kind of here and there. Not, I don't want it to be solid, I just kind of want it, um, just like I said, a little here, a little there. And you can even put some of this on, on the uh, grain, 